please support my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button right below the video. Once you get subscribed to my channel, do not forget to click on this bell icon right next to it in order to get notifications about my latest videos. And last but not least, if you like this video, please click on this like button in order to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to run Linux operating system on your Android phone. We will be taking Linux Ubuntu operating system in this video and running it on our Android phone. You guys can feel free to do this process on any of the Android device. This thing will not require any kind of routing. This video is one of the most requested video on my channel. A lot of you guys have requested me to make this video, so I thought of giving it a try. I'm gonna try to make this process really short and simple, easy to understand. Please do consider replaying the video if you guys are getting stuck at any point because there might be a lot of commands you guys have to enter. There might be instances where you guys have to give several retries, so please do consider replaying the video and following the process step by step. So yeah, without wasting any further ado, let's start the video. So guys, let's start the video. This is the phone which we will be using for today's video. Now before we start this process, we need to install two applications. One is VNC Viewer and second is Termux. As you guys can see, I've already installed both of the applications on my phone. Now first off, I'll start the Termux and I'll check if I have anything on my phone. So I'll just type in the command LS and I'll press enter. And as you guys can see, I don't have anything because uh, it shows blank. That means I probably don't have anything on my phone. I will now head over to the word file which I have made. Uh, we have the commands on these word files. So these are the commands which we will be entering in our Termux in order to uh, you know install the additional files uh, which are required for us to run the Ubuntu OS on our phone. So I will copy this. Now once we have copied the command we'll have to go to Termux and we have to paste the command which we copied from our word file. And I'll press enter and as you guys can see it shows working that means it's probably working on uh, the updates which uh, uh, you know which needs to be done uh, in the Termex application so this may take some time it's asking do you want to continue I will press yes because it's giving me two options I'll press Y and I'll uh, press enter and it still shows working as you guys can see it's downloading uh, different files so it may take some time so we'll have to wait so guys you have to be sure because the commands which you guys will enter those commands should not have number before it because uh, I will be putting commands in the description so you guys have to be really sure if you guys are copying the commands and if you guys are making a word file like me do not put number before them uh, I got stuck and the commands were not working in the Termix uh, later on, I realized that, uh, you know, since I put the number before the command, like 1, 2, and 3, uh, it was also copying the numbers. That's why it was not working. So please make sure if you guys are making a Word file, um, you know, in your phone, you guys don't have to put numbers before it because it will, by default, copy the numbers too. Now guys, we are done with the first command. Now we'll have to head over to the Word file which we made and we'll have to enter the second command. Now I'll copy the command from here and I'll head over to my Termix and I will paste this command here and I'll press enter and again it started working on the uh, you know on the process now we'll have to wait till the time it downloads the file because right now it's downloading the actual file from the net um, I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm gonna resume the video once the thing gets completed it has completed the process now I'll head over to our word file and we will use the third command I'm gonna copy it from here I'll head over to Termex again and I will paste the command uh, okay let's see if we have the root yeah now this command is to check if we have access to our root terminal for Ubuntu as you guys can see we have access to it now we'll go to our word file now we'll have to copy the fourth command and uh, I'll head over to my Termix and I will enter the command as you guys can see now it started working on it so this thing will take probably around 15 to 20 minutes uh, depending upon your internet speed we'll have to wait this thing will take some time so probably uh, this is the fourth step 
and the fourth command will take some time so yeah you have to wait and uh, I'll be I'll be back once the process gets completed so guys you'll have to make sure uh, there will be a point when uh, the uh, command will ask you to select the keyboard layout and it will uh, going to give you the uh, you know numbers to select now you'll have to keep on pressing the enter button unless it gives you uh, the option to select an appropriate number so there will be a point uh, when uh, you will try entering the number it will not take that number un uh, unless you uh, press the enter and you come down at the bottom which will then give you option to select that number so please do bear this thing in mind that once this thing gets completed it will give me the option to select the keyboard layout and again it will give us the same option to go down at the extreme button select an appropriate number so the process is completed now once the process gets completed it will ask you to select the option for the keyboard layout i'm gonna have to press enter and uh, expand to get the proper layout for my keyboard i will have to press 3 1 for uh, united states and i'll press enter again it's asking me to select a language i will press one for english united states now uh, guys you will not be able to uh, uh, directly put in numbers unless you complete this uh, more thing so you'll have to keep pressing the uh, enter button unless it gives you uh, the option to select the number so i'll have to select one and i'll press enter it will again start the process once the process gets completed i will restart the video in between the process it will also ask you to enter the password so this is probably the point when you will give password to your ubuntu operating system so i'm gonna give one two three four five and six six letter password i will press enter Again, it's asking us to verify the password. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's asking us to uh, make password view only or not. So I'm gonna press N and I'll press enter. And uh, it will again start the process. Localhost semicolon one is uh, the name of our virtual machine. So I am going to now go to our VNC viewer. Let's go to home screen and I'll turn on my VNC viewer. I'll go next, next, next again and uh, uncheck this thing and I'll click on uh, get started. I'll have to press on this plus button right here. It's asking me to enter the address. Uh, I will enter localhost. Right, and I will. Uh, so, name will be Ubuntu. I'm gonna create it. I'll try to connect this let's see if it is uh, fetching up the details unencrypted connection so i'll press ok now it's asking me to enter the password so i'll press one two three four five six and i will turn on this button which says uh, remember the password and i'll press done and as you guys can see i am in my ubuntu uh, operating system this is our ubuntu operating system guys uh, i am going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see it better so this is it i can use the keyboard virtual keyboard i can also use the mouse as you guys can see uh, things are pretty much set up here let me just check if i have applications running i'll go to terminal uh, as you guys can see here, uh, I am into a root user, like how we uh, typed in our, uh, you know, Termux. Uh, if I type ls, it shows us that I have the root access to my terminal, as you guys can see right here. Things are working fine. Um, it's pretty much smooth and uh, there is no lag, as you guys can see, it, things are responding real time. Uh, the applications are responding real time. If you guys want, you guys can also go to internet and check how to install these softwares. You guys can use terminal and you guys can install additional softwares. If I want to close this, I just have to click on the cross sign right here and it's asking me if I want to disconnect the session. I will have to click on disconnect. Once you guys are done using this, go to uh, Termux and you will have to type in uh, VNC server hyphen stop 
this will probably stop the uh, VNC server if I go to uh, VNC and if I try starting the connection we don't have uh, the port on which computer is listening for this connection could not be connected if I want to start it again I'll have to go to Termux and again I'll have to type in VNC uh, server hyphen uh, start and if I press enter it will start the VNC uh, session again and now if I go to VNC and if I press this it will again give me the so just turn on this thing. every time you open the VNC server it will give you this uh, an encrypted connection just turn this thing off so that it will not give you this error again I click on OK and here you have it so guys that's it thank you for watching so that's it guys that's it for today thanks a lot for watching this video i hope this video will provide you guys all the information you need if you guys have any questions to ask if you guys are getting stuck at any point please do feel free to write down your issues in the comments box if you guys are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel in order to become a part of this tech family do not forget to click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button in order to get the notification about my new videos please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video thanks a lot guys again for watching this video i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace